What is going on guys? This is Mr. Dancan18 again coming at you with another of my how-to videos in Farming Simulator 2013. And as you might guess, we're over here where the sheep are and we're going to talk about how to maximize the wool productivity and what it takes to make that happen. Alright, so we're going to jump to the equipment needed, which is not a whole lot. So this is something you could actually get started really early in um, your game. And here it is. This is it. This is all really you need. You actually don't even have to have the trailer as long as you have a front loader uh, with a pallet fork there like, like we have. But all you need is our favorite thing in the game here, in my opinion. It's the Swiss Army knife of the tractors. It's the Dutes Agro Farm 430 with the front loader, but we have a pallet fork on it. Um, you may remember we used this a lot in the dairy farm video. Uh, because it basically did everything for us, but we had a bell fork on the front, so you could just use this for both places. The trailer is just so you can put the, you can do multiple pallets of the wool at once when you're taking it to sell it. Uh, but you will need this profi hopper here, which is your best friend also because it's very easy to just cut some grass and dump it, dump it into their feeding trough and go from there. All right, next we're gonna cut a little grass and get that in there so they can get to eating and making wool. All right, this is super easy. All you gotta do is uh, turn on the mo mower, of course. I think it'll cut at two, at the cruise control two is what I mean. Maybe even three, let's see. Yeah, this is the slowest thing in the game. It's infuriating. 10% full here. All you do is fill it up and then run it over to the trough. I like how they put his hat on backwards when he's cutting grass. <laughs> Spin around at 50%. Drive back. Should fill up by the time we get to the end, and it does. Turn off mower. All right, and you drive it straight over here to the trough and dump it in. I've got some in there already, but because I do have a hundred sheep, so I'm trying to keep them fed. Cue to unload. And it takes its time, just like it drives. <laughs> And then all you do now is wait on the pallets to fill up on the spot that they put the, uh, the completed and ready to harvest, for lack of a better word, uh, wool. And then after that, we'll load it up on the trailer. Actually, I'll show you a trick where you can just use the profi hopper to push off, put push off the completed pallets so that you can stack up some before you, so you have enough to fill up a trailer. Alright, so what we'll do now is wait on it to get to 100% productivity. Here, I'll show you. We'll go through to, to the statistics, and we got 0% right now. But when that bottom number, the 29%, gets to 100%, I'll show you how you just push it off with this, and then we'll load it with the front loader. Alright, here you go. It's at 97%. Almost done, and it's, that's where it puts it. That's the words I couldn't think of earlier. I don't know what to call that, but that's where the whoa, ends up as they as they fill it up there we're at 99 percent and then 100 all right i'm going to bring the time back down to, to real time and show you the trick here this is uh this is some that i feel like a I feel like a cooking show here's some full pallets of wool i prepared earlier <laughs> so all you do and the reason i'm going to use the profi hopper to push this off is our front loader over there most of the time it's going to be over with the cows, the, the dairy farm, because it's going to service that most of the time. Uh, if you want to watch that video, I'll link it in the description. Uh, so it'll be over there most of the time. So you won't have a front loader over here to get this off. But it's really simple. You just push it off. 
and then it begins refilling it. It's that easy. So what we'll do is park this guy, jump out, and I'll try not to <laughs> embarrass myself too much here with, let me get that out of the way. Okay, let's try to pick up some pallets and we'll load as many as we can onto the trailer. Okay, it looks like we're lined up that way. Alright, I might have done this. Hey, check it out. Alright. So let's go put it on the trailer. And one trick is you can actually, after you've loaded the trailer, you can get one more on your pallet fork here and drive over there where you deposit it with it on the fork so you can get an extra one. Try to put, put it as far back as we can, get as many on there as we can. Sorry, it takes a lot of concentration. I can't really talk. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can back up. Hey, I did it! All right, guys, I'll load the rest of these and then we'll drive it over and make our money. Okay, guys, here we go. <laughs> I just made a little sharp turn and they all slid to the left. <laughs> Be, uh, I recommend being very careful because uh, this these flip pretty easily. But it's a pretty short drive, relatively close. I turned the map on for you guys so you can see where it is. We're leaving the sheep area. and we basically, You basically just make a right turn and go straight to where that, looks like that ball of yarn is. Um, you basically get, I don't know exactly, but it's about $5,000 per uh, pallet of wool there. So let's try not to flip when I make this right turn. Oh, just hitting bumps. Makes it want to flip. Easy. <laughs> I really don't want to pick these up again with this pallet fork. Come on. All right. There we go. Now we can go. Speed up a little bit so it's running straight away. And like I said, it's pretty much a straight shot from here. Also have some other how-to videos you guys may be interested in, and I'm going to be doing some let's plays soon, and I'll link those in the description you guys want to see any of those but it's that box right up here that we have to get it in and then they all just magically disappear and we get our money whoa what is this this has never happened what is going on I've seen this happen on some mods before with some modded tractors or harvesters or something like that when you attempt to attach it to a in-game device but I've never seen it happen to unmodded equipment what is going on? It says I'm going 62 miles an hour <laughs> alright I'm gonna stop the recording here and see if I can fix it okay check this out I know this is supposed to be a how-to video but I'm <laughs> this is too funny it, I reset it, you know, going through this, and I think it's on the other side of that cedar there. But it put me on top of on top of the silos for the for the potatoes and the sugar beets. See, <laughs> this is weird. And I, 
that's the pallet fort glitching. I don't know if you can see that, but it's glitching everywhere. Let me see if it put it over here. Yeah, I put it on the other side of that. Let's see if we can reset the other equipment. There's the trailer. And there's the pallet fort. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> well, alright guys. That's the end of the video anyways. You saw it. it. It gave me the money still, which is weird. But, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, leave a comment. Ask any questions you like. Uh, let me know if I can do anything any better. But other than that, appreciate you watching, guys. Thanks.